Hi, today on Bambi Coach TV, it's mixed doubles tactics. Now generally, the ladies are at the net, the man's at the back. Now, what happens when the lady is flick served? She's at the rear court now. What happens now? We don't really want to get into this situation. Okay, with the man's at the front, the ladies at the back. So what, what shot can she play? Obviously the chap needs to cover. What shot can she play? Today, I'm gonna to show you the idea of playing the shot high into this corner. Okay, so after that, she played a clear to this corner, cross court, she can drift back into here. Yes, they're defending, but they're in the correct formation for defense. Man's taken straight. He will cover this area, the straight smash, and the rear court. The lady, when this chap comes across, is covering the cross court smash and the net. She can forget about this one because there's enough time if this clears blade for this chap to move across. Then they're straight back into formation. Okay, so today's practice is the cross court clear. What happens after it? Can we get back into our mixed doubles formation? Here's an example. The lady's been flick served to the back. What does she do next? Plays the clear. Gets into the right defensive formation and completes the rally. Alvin, this end, has to cover the straight smash, the straight drop and the cross court. Opens up the court too much, loses the rally. So the advantage of playing the clear. It enables this pair to get into a formation where they can get back into the attack on the very next shot. The alternatives on this flick serve, so that this lady serves to her, moves it to the rear court. Okay, so you're saying, why don't I, why doesn't she smash? Okay, she smashes down the line. This chap now is come across here playing the shot and he's got space here. If this man comes forwards, he's got space there. She might have to come across. Instantly, they're in the wrong formation. Okay, so another, another idea. The high serve comes here. She smashes cross court. So they'll be into this formation. The smash comes here. He has to come in, cover the net again. Now she's got the option of hitting to this big space again. So it doesn't really work. Another scenario, or another shot, is on the flick serve, they drift into that formation again, the drop shot. Now that's quite effective, because that would allow the lady enough time to come back in to cover the net. But if she's coming in at speed, there's gonna be holes around the court again. Certain places, cross court net and so on, and mid court. So, very effective shot, and an alternative, maybe try it, is that cross court clear, okay? Demonstrations to follow and practices at the end. Watch out for the blooper. Hitting the clear high allows myself and my partner time to get into the defensive formation, and means our opponent will be hitting from a static position. Now for the practices, there are five. Progressive practices. Start with the easy practice first. Here, she's practicing the cross court clear. The kick step is used to help produce the power through the shot. After the clear, there's the recovery split step rackets up covering the drop shot and maybe the smash look for the split step and crouch defense if the smash is played cross court towards the lady it opens up the court. 
for the counter-attack. Here, the practice is when I put the shuttle twice to the rear court, she shouts, yours, and runs forwards. In this practice, the split step is important to maybe crouch and defend the smash. She also covers the drop shot. In this practice, I put two shots to the rear court and encourage Linda to shout yours. <laughs> 